Bonjour, bonsoir. Uh, I'm going to read my essay. From my class. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm going to put a guitar lead while doing it. Essay from my life. By David Efron. Word counts. 1793. Topic, the invisible. Construction, unorthodox, stream of consciousness, unknown. How good the essay is to be, re be received through grade verification. Author remarks, trees breathe. <clears throat> UI. 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 I, you, I, you, I, you, I, <clears throat> Since habituating in Paris for the last three months, I've been traveling to my grandparents' place to spend time with them. And my uncle in Montpellier on three separate occasions. They've been absolutely grand. <clears throat> my lingo has even changed. Bloody hell. Spending three hours in the morning talking to my grandparents while whilst endlessly stuffing myself with the croissants, baguette, butter, this, and this is actually quite a good one from Boise Jam. I enter a state of complete acceptance and relaxment. I feel these chats, the political dinners, the evening sig and beers with my Uncle Rod has turned me into the French man I may be destined to be. I am half French after all. Whilst half American, I was born in Hong Kong and then turned seven years old later so, uh, I was born in Hong Kong, and then returned seven years later from California to Hong Kong to live for 12 years. I, I and my identity have ever been everly shifting. I hold, held on to my American side as I lived in Hong Kong, yet I was missing the French side of myself, that artistic, honest, angry, and impatient spirit which sits in my mom and myself, which my dad juggles and can barely grapple, whilst he works till exhaustion just to let us do it. This is to say that I am quite lost. When to be found. In terms of being a 20 year old facing these identities, creating my values, acknowledging where I come from, dealing with bullshit, friends, art, lovers, I feel like a ball of energy me being sucked into a hundred, hundred surrounding vacuums all representing different aspects of the same thing. These vacuums, they have no container which would store the sucked up dirt, beauty, and whatnot of my essence. But these parts of self are being flown around. They do not drown and get thrown away. But merely they are sucked out of me, leaving me to survive each and every moment, and then to come back when it feels as it must. As they float in the black matter which I was told, which I was told represents my Jewish God. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm alerted to the fact that as I live and breathe in 2024, as a 20-year-old, I am constantly being the subject of my environment. The social media, the mass fucking marketing.
can we keep on riding? Being the subject of my environment, the social media, the mass fucking marketing, my parents telling me what I should be taking advantage of instead of diving deep into how I'm feeling emotionally. I'm talking about the energy of negative friendships and people complaining about stupid things they don't need to slowly creep, they don't need to slowly creeps away at the love and gratefulness I try so hard to build up as I march through a beautiful city, which I can't try each food, talk to each person because I'm so involved in my head with my purpose and what I must do and how I plan to rest my body just to work and create more the next day. Ay, yeah, yeah, it's like the weather. How can I decide when I cannot feel it? How can I make money and try to think about the future when there are a hundred influential people in my life telling me what is next? I just want to be me. I want to explore me classically. Yes, get out of the road and find a, find peace and talk with ease. Harry believes whales are blue, yet colorblind Sally believes whales are green. She is wrong because the majority says the whales are blue. Or is she? Or is she equally as right? Oscar and Louis believe time and space is an illusion, whilst Peter the physicist says that time and space cannot be manipulated as they are what creates our reality. The majority of science and people's opinions say Peter the physicist is correct. And then Oscar and Louie don't know science and don't know the objective truth. What the fuck? For those who can't help themselves, how can I help you? For those who can't help themselves, how may I serve you? For those who ask for money, why do you ask and not make? For those who are young, broken, sad, I understand why, you're, why you've given up. This world tears at those who do not concede. For if you don't concede, you are ejected and rejected and elected as none. You are now synonymous with sound. You feel no bound, but one path you have set may internally either make your life a misery or a world free of all habituation you do not agree with. <laughs> I support those who do not concede. I look to up to them in ways many could. They reject the norms and keep humanity alive. I am alive. I am surviving in this societal sausage squeeze. I am surviving just fucking fine. Poor two, you do not care for the show. You truly do not care for the show. Thus, you may experience incomplete. Which is scary and obsolete. Not really. Yet I hope I can help you keep alive so you can meet. In my faith in humanity's unnecessary need to feel like it must group into one giant seed as it already is. In my faith in humanity's unnecessary greed to try and create ideas separating it from the fact that it is one giant seed. So let's stop trying all that, Sid, the kid. We are the we are you. And they are me are you. This is my jargon. This is my poise. This is me every day as I stride through the noise. I wrote part of this on the metro, realizing, frick, I need to write my essay, and I just began, and that is perfect. Writing this in different states of mind showcases what I'm trying to talk about. Perfectly. Aha. Boom. Aha. I believe in oneness. I believe in human and animal and plant and fungi equality. My mind is lost. There's too much out there on the internet. It's cap to pull catapulting my mind into an endless water park slide loop. I wonder, I wonder if this was the same when my parents or even the 38, 40 year old cousins were growing up from South Carolina. Was their mind more clear? Do they have to cipher through tons of clickbaiting, attacking an uber attractive perfected to grab one's eye information every single day, every minute or less? I wonder what... Nothing. I wonder what must we master? 
The invisible has always been something to set a goal for the next chapter. The human is in inescapable. To be human is irresistible. To be is really, really free. In the kish ala ken, I am you, you are me. Breathe into this and allow us to be. Please. Yes, granted, with ease. But I may appease. Listen, you know. It's in you. It's in all of us. You know. Simply, I say, let's share our ideas. Let's share how we feel and step into ourselves together. The answer to the truth is only in you. Thank you, and this is Revolution Love. Truth is in you.